Do you know the famous Bollywood actor Amitabh Bachchan has been struggling with a rare autoimmune condition that affects the neuromuscular system? Yes, he was diagnosed with myasthenia gravis. In this lecture, we are going to learn about myasthenia gravis. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we are Team Medicos providing free medical lectures for medical pre-G preparation. So without a further ado, get on with it. Myasthenia gravis, it is a post-junctional defect. It is due to affected receptors of acetylcholine. It is type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Okay. So Amitabh Bachchan is suffering from type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. I will try to make this lecture in story pattern. Now, what are the causes which cause myasthenia gravis? So there are three important factors, thymus abnormality, thymic hyperplasia and thymoma. From where about 75% of myasthenia gravis is due to the thymus abnormality. In thymus, there are myeloid cells and which contain alloantigens. And the alloantigens has chemical structure resemblance to acetylcholine receptor. So there are formation of antibodies. So we have some important antibodies to learn in this disease. And the names of anticholinergic receptor antibodies are anti-acetylcholine receptor antibody, which are mainly formed in this disease, anti-musk antibody, that is muscle specific kinase antibody, anti-LRP4 antibody, that is low density lipoprotein related protein 4, anti-nitrin 1 receptor, anti-caspal 2 and anti-striated muscle antibody against titine. So these are important antibodies. Now let's talk about the clinical features. So here we have very important clinical feature that is ptosis. So look over here. This is the normal eyelid and you can see falling of upper eyelid. So ptosis, it is asymmetrical and triggered by use of extra auricular muscles. Like when we see TV, hai, phone, use karte hai, laptop, use karte hai, yeah, koi theater mein movie dekh rahe hai. So there is easy fatigability. You can see the image of Amitabh Bachchan. Yes, in this image there is no tosis, but you can remember his one eye. So aapko yaad rahega ki myasthenia gravis mein tosis hota hai. Now the second important clinical feature is diplopia. You can also test for this. Ask patient for upward gauge. Gauge is more than 30 seconds. That will trigger tosis and diplopia. There is snarling faces when we ask patient to smile. Chewing muscle weakness, there is high risk of aspiration, dysphagia, specifically oropharyngeal dysphagia, dysarthria, since muscle of vocal cords affected, but here deep tendon reflex are preserved. But there is proximal muscle weakness. You can see Jaya Bachchan combing the hair of Amitabh Bachchan. Is this image relevant here? Yes, this image is only for illustrative purpose. The point is. Amitabh Bachchan ke proximal muscles kaam nahi kar rahe means wo apne hair kaam nahi kar payenge to just for your memory is image mein Jaya Bachchan Amitabh Bachchan ke hair kaam kar de rahi hai so you can remember it as in myasthenia gravis there is proximal muscle weakness right so these are some important clinical features tosis diplopia snarling faces chewing muscle weakness aspiration risk is high dysphagia, dysarthria, DTR preserved and proximal muscle weakness. But how can we diagnose this case? So let's talk about the workup. So workup, I already told you anti-acetylcholine receptor blocking antibody is found in this disease. But the limitation is negative antibody report doesn't rule out this disease and doesn't correlate with severity of this disease. And the confirmatory test is single fiber electromyography. And there is also repetitive nerve stimulation test. When we give repetitive nerve stimulation to any muscle, then there is a decremental response. You can see here the amplitude of the action potential gradually decreases. There is also ice pack test. I told you when we ask patient for upward gauge, there is trigger of tosis. Then ask patient to apply the ice bag. After 3 to 5 minutes application of ice bag, stosis is substantially reduced. This is ice pack test, which decreases the activation of acetylcholine esterase, which is sensitive to temperature. We can also do CT MRI head for ocular myasthenia gravis and for rule out 
arteriovenous malformation and we can also test for pulmonary function test to plan thymectomy and to evaluate lung function now let's talk about the management of this disease so amita bachchan ne kya liya hoga obviously he wants to control his symptom so the drug of choice for this disease is pyridostigmin okay so drug of choice for this disease is pyridostigmin but the treatment of choice is thymectomy remember only these things which is important for your neat pg preparation pyridostigmin is drug of choice thymectomy is treatment of choice and if patient have in ocular myasthenia gravis then first line drug is pyridostigmin if the response is poor then go for steroids azathioprine so the treatment of choice for ocular myasthenia gravis is steroids and if patient having myasthenia crisis generally myasthenia gravis is triggered in conditions like infection and pregnancy so in myasthenia crisis the best option is plasmapheresis or iv immunoglobulin so this is all about myasthenia gravis thanks for watching this video and yes if you haven't subscribed it then please subscribe to this channel and stay tuned with medicos stay safe and stay healthy thank you